Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, there's a problem. Most people are not understanding this, and I understand why they're not understanding it, because they don't understand the terminology. So let's see if we can get an understanding. Is that all right? We're going to make this a little bit larger. You can't make it any larger than that. Want to bet? Straighten up. Fly right. All right. You are a bank. Not because I said so. Don't take my word for it. You can go to Presidential Proclamation 2039. Presidential Proclamation 2039. You can go to Presidential Proclamation 2039 and see where the president issued an order to mandate a declaration. A proclamation saying that anyone who was in the business of receiving deposits didn't state what type of deposits, just said the business of receiving deposits. Pay attention. You're in business. Should be doing everything as a business. Anyway, these individuals are banking institutions. Any individual who engages in any other form of banking business doesn't have to be every day, doesn't have to be every year. Just engaging in banking business at any time in your life. You are a banking institution under law. Go and read the definition. Now, that we got that cleared up and Congress confirmed it by introducing, pay attention, introducing the March 9th, 1933 Act. Congress never amended the definition. They actually supported the definition. Go and do your research. Now, some people haven't done, uh, what some people haven't done is they haven't put section 412 and 411 together. So let's do that now and see if we can get a clear understanding of what the so-called statute says. 411, Federal Reserve notes are to be issued at the discretion of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors to the Federal Reserve of the Federal Reserve System for the purpose of making advances to Federal Reserve banks through the Federal Reserve agents as here and after set forth and for no other purpose are they authorized. Okay, got that? So Federal Reserve Board of Governors issues Federal Reserve notes. Got that? Okay, let's go right here. Section 412. Any Federal Reserve Bank may make an application to the local Federal Reserve agent for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes as here and, here and before, before, okay, after provided for as it may require. Application for Federal Reserve notes. Federal Reserve notes are issued at the discretion of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. So, ladies and gentlemen, this any Federal Reserve Bank cannot be, pay attention, the Federal Reserve Board of Governors because why? This is an application for Federal Reserve notes. I got to go turn that off. Y'all going to have to excuse me for a moment. Uh, you know what? Yeah, give me a second. It's crying, and it shouldn't be crying. All right. What has happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that is the solar system crying out, you know, for crying out loud. Um, because I, that little component I was putting fuses in yesterday, it turns out the fans are not working. Well, I don't believe the fans are working, so I have to check that out in a minute. And I wanted to do this video first, so I just depleted a spare 12-volt battery system. I know! Tell me about it! Okay, so I am working on getting that back up and running in just a second, okay? I just gotta do this video first. Is that all right with y'all? Let's get back to the point. Ladies and gentlemen, Federal Reserve notes are issued by the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. Okay, Federal Reserve Board of Governors to the Federal Reserve Banks. And for no other purpose are they authorized. This is neither the Federal Reserve Board of Governors or the 13 Federal Reserve Banks. You see, they're not making application to the local Federal Reserve agent. They're the supervisors. Oh, y'all didn't know? Okay, well, anyway, the Federal Reserve banks those 13 supervises the lower banks remember 
It's a system of governance, an administrative system. Now let's do this again so that you understand. It can't be the Federal Reserve. Oh, look at that. You see Federal Reserve right here? Now this one, I'm just gonna do like this. This one says right there at the top, it says Cornell Law Definition Code. And then it says 12 USC and chapter three, sub chapter. And let's see what this one says. Well, would you look at there? It says 12 USC sub chapter three. It says the same thing. Well, isn't that interesting? It's the same location and definition. So let's go to Cornell Law and see if we're gonna pull up the same definitions page. You won't be able to see the whole page because of the way this thing does, and I'm so sorry. But look at this. We, we're gonna click on Reserve Bank. Okay, re Reserve, re Reserve Bank, and what, look at where it takes us. I said Reserve Bank. I didn't say take me back to the same place. It ain't taking me. Oh, it, it's, it's trying to take me, y'all. Staple Singers has just shown up. Uh oh, oh, I'm not online. That's what I forgot. Hold on, y'all. I gotta do something here. I gotta, I gotta, I um, uh, gotta uh, pause y'all for a second. Y'all don't mind? Gotta pause y'all. I gotta connect to the internet. Oh yeah, there, there's more than one way to connect to the internet around here. One second. Okay, we, 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 we's back. Um, hold on. Let me do that refresh thing right there. Cause it's so refreshing. And, 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 and as it refreshes itself, it takes us right here. And it tells us the term bank and national bank and national bank and association member bank, district bank, reserve bank, reserve, re 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 reserve bank shall have the meaning assigned to them in section 221. So it takes us to the same place. Hold on now. We, we ain't finished. Then we go here and we, we need 221. Like I told you, for whatever reason, it takes you to the middle of the page and not this part of the page. So we're going to go to 221. Why does it take us? It says the source that is 221A. No, it ain't. And it says, hold on now. This is the term bank. When the word bank, see, when it's banks with an S, it's a term. When it's banks without an S, it's a word. Word up. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, whenever the word bank is used in this chapter, the word shall be held to include state bank. Okay, we gonna, we just going to stop right there. We're going to hold on to state bank. Okay, just, just pay attention. State bank may include any bank. Now, wait, 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 wait. This one says operates under the code of law of the District of Columbia. Well, everything's under the district. Okay, every state is a district, every county is a district, but we, we don't want to get technical. Let's not get technical. Pay attention. State bank also includes membered banks. What? Say what? Hold on. The term membered bank shall be held to mean any national bank, state bank, or bank, or trust company. Okay which has become a member of one of the Federal Reserve Banks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when did you become a member of one of the Federal Reserve Banks? Hold on. We know that that number on the back of your Social Security card is associated with the Federal Reserve. Hold on now. But you became a member of the Federal Reserve Bank once you started engaging in the business of banking. Go back and look at Presidential Proclamation 2039, pay attention, and the Congressional Act of March 9, 1933. Don't take my word for it. Go do your research. Now, let's continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't put the entire 412 uh, here. I need you to pay attention to this right here. Now, I should have highlighted this, but I ain't had that type of time. Y'all got that type of time. I ain't got that type of time. So we're going to highlight it now. Okay? I want y'all to pay attention. In interpreting the divorce decree, nobody cares about the divorce decree, but this is contract interpretation and statutory interpretation. Notice this. The courts give the common words their ordinary meaning unless manifest absurdity results or unless some other meaning is clearly evidenced by the instrument. So let's go back to 412. Any Federal Reserve Bank, the common meaning of any is it, it is a, pay attention, Negative determiner, which means it has a general application. Wait, let, let's do this again so that you'll see. The courts give the common words their ordinary meaning or general meaning unless manifest absurdity of some other meaning is clearly evidence. So could this mean just the regular Federal Reserve Bank? No, because there's no such thing as a Federal Reserve Bank in the form of any. 
because what you will think, pay attention, is that the Federal Reserve Bank are the 13 member banks. No, because member banks of the Federal Reserve System are also Federal Reserve Banks. What? Member banks? Are you sure? You guys just heard it speak about absurdity. How absurd! So, let's find out who's a part of the Federal Reserve. So, we're going to go back one and two. One and two. Reserve bank. The term banks, with an S, it's a term. National banks, National Banking Association, member bank, boards, districts, reserve banks shall have the meaning applied to them under 221 of this title. So, let's find out what a reserve bank is. You guys don't mind, do you? We're going to find out what a reserve bank. We don't care nothing about this right here. This is not what we go here because it's where, see, the term banks, national bank, national banking association, member bank, board, district, or reserve bank shall have the meaning assigned to them under this section. That was the section that we just went to. Why it didn't take us here directly, talk to Cornell Law about that, okay? Anyway, now, the word bank shall have the meanings of this stuff unless National Bank or Federal Reserve Bank are specifically referred to. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Specifically referred to? So let's find out if Section 412 specifically refers to Federal Reserve Bank. Hold on now. Y'all y'all stay with me for a moment. Uh-oh, I went to the wrong section. I ain't supposed to be there. Oh, I was at the right section. I just got to go all the way back down here to Cornell Lilly. Okay, I hit the wrong button. I was supposed to be back here. What is this? No, we ain't going there. Uh-uh. Y'all ain't, ain't going to no internet. Get off my computer. All right, hold on now. Got one more to go. One more, one more again. Now, pay attention. We're going to make this a little bit larger for y'all because we know some of y'all are hard of hearing and hard of seeing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we gonna see what we can do. If my mouse will let me do what I need to do, cause sometimes the mouses, they 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 be ratting out on me. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and they they cause they rodents. You know how rodents are, always getting in somebody's business. All right, I made it too large. There we go. All right, any Federal Reserve Bank. So it says unless specifically. Any Federal Reserve Bank is not specific. So we can't go by that definition of it. It, it, it applies. See, it, we've got to give it its ordinary meaning unless some other meaning is specifically referenced. So let's do it. Except National Bank and Federal Reserve Banks, when they are specifically referred to, for the purpose of this chapter, state bank includes any bank. The term member bank shall be held to include any bank. See, any right here, and then bank, which became a member of the Federal Reserve Bank. People think that they have to become an actual member of the Federal Reserve Bank following certain rules and following certain paperwork. That's not what it's saying. Congress never intended for it to say, and they have to file form number 4DMBC exit 4. I don't know what 4D, C, and B, C, S, 4 means. What, what form is that? Okay. What you need to understand is the system has to be available for all. Why? Because they took the gold. When did they take the gold? Don't worry about when. Just understand they took the gold. In order to take the gold, what did they have to do? They had to give just compensation. Just compensation? That's why the we, we have to go there. I'll take you there. Give me a second for me to pull it up, and then I'll show it to you. All right. But whilst that's pulling up, and it will be pulling up in a second, I just have to pull it up in the background. I don't need it to show up on the foreground. I'm going to put it up in the background so I can take care of some things. need to explain this to you so that you get it. Section 411, we got to go back one more. Section 411, and we got to, let's make this, come on now, 411. Got to go talk to Mary J. Blige because y'all don't seem to understand. You know, what's the 411? All right. Section 411. Sorry, my cell phone just uh, told me it was coming offline, and I don't want it offline. I, my, my, my cell phone has to stay in line. 
I don't know why it wants to be coming offline, but we're going to put it back in line because it knows it ain't supposed to be doing what it wants to do whenever it feels like it does what I tell it to do because I's in charge. I don't even know who the Charles is, but I know that I've always been in charge. Let's get back. Ladies and gentlemen, Federal Reserve notes are issued for making advances to the Federal Reserve Bank. Uh-oh, hold on now. Got to get back there to y'all. Whew, you see how my system just shut on down? And I know why it did that, and it was supposed to do that, but I didn't want it to do that, but it had to do that. Why? Because that's what it do. I got to make it do what it do. In a minute, I'm going to correct that, but not now. Let's get back to this, okay, so that you guys understand. The Federal Reserve notes are issued at the discretion of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System for the purpose of making advances to the Federal Reserve Banks. Now, I want you to pay attention. Federal Reserve Banks. Now, Federal Reserve Board of Governors issues these advances to the Federal Reserve Banks. Then it says, through the Federal Reserve agents as hereinafter set forth and for no other purpose are they authorized. Are these the Federal Reserve District Banks? Or are these the Federal Reserve Banks, such as the Membered Banks? Let's find out, shall we? Because remember, all national banks and member banks are the Federal Reserve Banks, excuse me, and, uh oh shall be receivable by all national and member banks and Federal Reserve Banks. Wait a minute. How can they make advancements to Federal Reserve Banks? Pay attention, Federal Reserve Board of Governors making advancements to Federal Reserve Banks through the Federal Reserve agent and being receivable by all member banks and Federal Reserve Banks. Pay attention. I want y'all to pay attention because it's very important because this is, this is the important part. If any Federal Reserve Bank making such an application were the district banks of the Federal Reserve System and not the membered banks of the Federal Reserve System. So this any Federal Reserve Bank includes national banks and membered banks. Oh, wait, hold on. Endorsed by a membered bank of the Federal Reserve District. So let's find out what this district means. Y'all don't mind? Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Dag, nabbit. It came offline again. Hold on. Be right Ta-da! Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the term district, the term bank, the term district means bank. It's a term, people. The term district means bank. The term banks, national banks, national banking association, member banks, board, district. You can't use a word to define itself. That is a maxim. And reserve banks shall have the meaning assigned to them in section 221. So let's find out what district means in section 221. Gotta go up again. Up, up, and away! Okay, let's do this, y'all. We gotta, let's do it. Okay. District. Where do we find district at? No districts up. Th oh, there it is. District of Columbia. Where's another district? It says district right here. The term district shall be held to mean the Federal Reserve District. Uh-oh. Not the Federal Reserve District Bank, but the Federal Reserve District. The term Reserve Bank shall be held to mean, hold on, Federal Reserve Bank. The term continental United States shall be held to mean the United States and the District of Columbia, which means the District of Columbia in the states of the United States and the District of Columbia, which means the District of Columbia is not part of the United States. Shh, don't tell nobody that's a thiquit. Okay, you're not supposed to know that. But hold on now. If it says the term district means the Federal Reserve District, the term district shall be held to mean the Federal Reserve District, not the Federal Reserve District Bank. Now, the term Reserve Bank shall be held to mean the Federal Reserve Bank, but it only means the Federal Reserve Bank unless it is explicitly, except where National Bank and Federal Reserve Banks are specifically, explicitly referred to. So let's see if we can find some explicits. 
uh, explicit? No, explicit. I know, explicit. No, explicit. No, explicit. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, any Federal Reserve Bank is not specific, which means it does not mean the district banks. Now remember, we just saw when it used the term Federal Reserve Bank, it means the district bank. See, the term Reserve Bank shall be held to mean the Federal Reserve the Federal Reserve Bank. And the Federal Reserve Bank, what does Federal Reserve Bank mean? <clears throat> oh, by the way, the term Reserve Bank shall be held to mean the Federal Reserve Bank. Wait a minute. The term Reserve Bank shall be held to mean the Federal Reserve Bank? How can Reserve Bank be Federal Reserve Bank? It, it's the same word. Anyway, and the term Federal Reserve District comes from the word district. That's confusing, ain't it? And then it says, who became a member of the Federal Reserve Bank. See, a state bank or bank or trust company which has become a member of the Federal Reserve Banks with an S. This is not with an S, so this is not a term, but it's actually two words put together, making a term, not a word. See, pay attention so that you understand the difference in the words. This is a term, not a word. That's why it says the term. Up here it says the word, statutory interpretation. For some people, some people, I can include myself in that. When we read this junk, we automatically apply this junk. Well, can you explain it to us in, in a nutshell so that uh, we, we don't end up as nutty as you? All right, sure, I'll explain it to you in a nutshell. Ladies and gentlemen, in 411, it says Federal Reserve Notes, that is the FRNs, FRNs, the fiat currency, is issued by the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, not the Treasury. Pay attention. Since 1945, they are issued by the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, not the Treasury. So they can print their own money. Okay, Th this is what this is saying, so that you don't miss a beat. To make advances to the Federal Reserve Banks, including you. That's why you get to use it. Through the Federal Reserve agents, you receive it through the Federal Reserve agents, the local banks. As here and after set forth and for no other purpose are they authorized. See, that's why you can't counterfeit it. Because you're not the issuer. Got it? Whew, thought we were gonna have a hard time with that one. Now, the next thing you need to know that any Federal Reserve Bank, stop focusing on the word reserve. Focus on the word federal bank. You see, you were classified as a bank under federal law, not state law. Say what? Nobody's ever explained that to me before that I was a federal bank. Nobody had to explain it. The law says it. Remember, the president said that anyone, so that was done at the presidential level. That wasn't done under the federal, I mean the state level. It was done at the federal level. Congress did this. Making you a federal bank may make an application to the local federal agent. The state banks are federal banks. They use federal reserve notes. Ladies and gentlemen, that buzzer sound that you heard go off earlier, it's gonna go off again. And I'm gonna let it go off because I ain't got time. No, let me go ahead and shut some things off before it goes off because I don't want to hear that noise. Uh-oh, it done fallen and it don't want to get back up. All right, there are some things I got to take care of with that. I'll do it later. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I just realized it. Thank you all for your help. Now, getting back to the reserve notes, ladies and gentlemen. Make an application for Federal Reserve Notes, as here and before provided. You may make an application to the Federal Reserve Board of Governors through the local Federal Reserve agent. Pay attention. For the purpose of making advances. Now, you are not to receive the Federal Reserve Notes. In this instance, when you are making an application for Federal Reserve Notes, it's not for you to receive that. It's for the local Federal Reserve agent, not for you. How does that make sense? Well, when you go to a bank and you are applying for what they refer to as a loan, but it is not a loan, it is a short-term loan. 
for 90 days. Say what? It's a short-term loan for 90 days. I need you to hold on for a second. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is to document the new deal that I put online for you guys. Remember how I had all the sections highlighted? Well, these sections are no longer highlighted for whatever dumb reason. Didn't do this myself. They did it. They did it to me. Anyway, um, don't worry about it. I can tell you exactly where we're going. We're going right here. Let me uh, get rid of this so that I can expand this. Let's do some expanding. Spandex? No, expanding. Spandex. Expanding. Oh, God. Sorry, he's a little slow. Y'all y'all just have to excuse him. And we're going to go, why, why, why? Not here. We got to go to this paragraph right here. What I'm looking for, because I had it so much highlighted and it was so puffy. It was purdy and everything. Purdy. Okay? They amended section number 13 is what we're looking for right here. This is what we're looking for. See, what happens is, subject to limitations and restrictions and regulations as set forth by the Federal Reserve Board of Governors, as they may prescribe, any Federal Reserve Bank may make advances. Advances? What do you mean, make advances? Oh, no, we ain't going to show you this. We need to show you this. May make advances. See, I told you that thing was going to go off. Okay, reserve notes for making advances to the Federal Reserve Board agents one second y'all i gotta go shut that off because that's gonna all right ladies and gentlemen i just got off the phone with someone who was telling me her sister is in the hospital after having pulled a cyst out of her that was the size of a six pound baby and so i told her to stop having babies the unnatural way and try it the natural way and it'll be a lot more rewarding sorry uh that's how i is uh Let's continue, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you need to know. It is real simple. The Federal Reserve Board of Governors, they are the ones who, pay attention, issues Federal Reserve notes for the making of advancements to Federal Reserve banks through the local Federal Reserve agent. Pay attention. Now, under this section, Section 403 of the Federal Reserve Act, Section 13, it was amended to say to the limitations of these idiots, the Federal Reserve Board of Governors. What makes them a governing board? Uh, don't worry about what makes them a governing board. Just understand. It says that they may make advances to individuals. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hold on. Did it say Federal Reserve Banks? Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to pay attention because you're going to finally get it may make advances to individuals and liberty and justice for all. Okay, so individuals, that includes you. That's why you are a bank. Huh? That's not what that says. Hold on. Let's go to section 412. Do you understand now? Any Federal Reserve Bank may make an application to the local Federal Reserve agents for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes here and before provided. Well, what was provided here and before? That the local board of governors may issue Federal Reserve notes for making advancements to the local Federal Reserve banks, or excuse me, to you through the local Federal Reserve agent. And for no other purpose are they authorized. So pay attention. Authorization. It says Federal Reserve banks may make advances to any individual partnership or corporation on the promissory note of such individual. Hold on now. I know some of y'all are saying, oh, snap. Section 412, one more again. Any Federal Reserve Bank, any individual may make an application to the local Federal Reserve agent for such an amount of Federal Reserve notes as here and before advancements provided as it may require necessities, require necessities, require necessities. Such application shall be accompanied by a tender to the local Federal Reserve agent of collateral. What's the collateral? Pay attention. Promissory notes. Hold on so that y'all get it because I know y'all ain't understanding it partnership or corporation on the promissory notes of such individual partnership or corporation secured by 
direct obligation of the United States, secured by direct obligation of the United States, secured by direct obligation of the United States. What's the direct obligation? Oh, the promissory notes, they're collateral securities. Such advancements shall be made for periods not exceeding 90 days, because back then, with the way the mail worked <laughs> and the way paperwork got to places, it could take up to 90 days before everything went back and forth. But now it's computerized, so it's within three days to three weeks. Okay? So this is what you're doing. So to prove that you're any Federal Reserve Bank, pay attention. Any Federal Reserve Bank means any individual. This is the actual act. This is the intent of Congress. So let's go to the Federal Reserve Act. I wasn't planning on this, so let me go there. I'll take you there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Section 13 of the Federal Reserve Act. You ready for something? Pay attention. Advances to membered banks on promissory, promissory, promissory notes. Any Federal Reserve, any Federal Reserve Bank may make advances for periods not exceeding 15 days to its membered banks on their promissory notes secured by deposits or pledge of bonds, notes, certificates, and indebtedness of the Treasury Bills of the United States or by deposit or pledge of debentures, debentures, or other such obligations of federal intermediate credit banks, which are eligible for purchase by the Federal Reserve Banks under Section 13 of this Act, or by direct deposit, by the deposit or pledge of bonds issued under provisions of Section 13, Section C of Section 4 of the Section C of Section 4 of the, pay attention, Section C of Section 4 of the Homeowners Loan Act of 1933. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this was enacted, this was amended May 24th, 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, need y'all to go and read Section 4 of the Homeowners Loan Act of 1933. Pay attention. As amended, and any federal, uh, pay, pay attention, as amended. Go and look at that act, because it's still in force today. The Homeowners Loan Act of 1933. Go and pay attention to that. Okay, I don't have the time, so I'm telling you all about it. Now, here's the point y'all need to pay attention to, because remember, we were just reading, uh-oh, not that one. Where is my... We were just reading this, may make advances to individuals. So let me show you where that is in the Federal Reserve Act. God, I keep doing it. Honey, could you help him out? Oh, no, honey. I think he needs all the help he can get. That's not that one. It's this one right here. See, I done helped him. Now, y'all leave me alone. I got work to do. I got work to do. Ladies and gentlemen, and any Federal Reserve Bank may make advances for periods not exceeding 90 days to its member banks on their promissory notes secured by such notes. On their promissory notes secured by such notes. Wait a minute, what that mean? It means that the collateral for the amount equal to the sum of Federal Reserve note thus applied for and pursuant to such application that this collateral security thus offered shall be such notes. That's what that means. Oh, he ain't have to yell. Secured by such notes, drafts, bills of exchange, or bankers' acceptances, as are eligible for rediscount or for purposes by the Federal Reserve Bank under provisions of this act, or there's an or, mama. Yeah, he's, he's swimming. Um, secured by such obligation as are eligible for purchase under Section 14 of this Act. All such advancements shall be made at a rate to be established by such Federal Reserve Banks, such rates to be subject to review and determination by the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. If any membered bank to which any such advancements has been made shall during the life or continuance of such advancement and despite an official warning of the Reserve Bank of the District of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System, to the contrary, increase its outstanding loan secured by collateral in the form of stocks, uh-oh, get back over here, bonds, debentures, or other such obligations or loans made to members of any organization, stock exchange, investment house, or dealers in securities, 
dealers in securities. You mean like when they trade my note as security? Upon any obligation, note, or bond, secured or unsecured, secured or unsecured for the purpose of purchasing and or carrying stocks, bonds, or other investment securities except obligations of the United States, such advance shall be deemed immediately due and payable, and such membered banks shall be ineligible, ineligible as a borrower at the Reserve Bank of the District under the provisions of this paragraph for such period as the Board of Governors may determine, provided that no temporary carrying or clearance loans made solely for the purpose of facilitating the purchase and delivery of securities offered by public subscription shall be included in loans referred to in this paragraph. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 12 U.S.C. 347. It's where this is codified. So this is what's going on so that some of you can get it because I promise you, I know many of you are not getting it. You're going to get it. Okay. Many of you are not getting it. So let me help you out. When you go to the bank and you make an application for a loan, that's section 4112, they say, correct? Well, when you're making an application for a loan, you're asking for federal reserve notes, not for you. You don't need the federal reserve notes. You need the notes to pay for the credit that the bank is going to give you to pay the homeowner, to pay the car owner that you're purchasing these products from. So they give you, pay attention, a temporary loan of credit. Credit? That's right. So they make an advance to whomever the homeowner is, that goes into escrow when you're dealing with a home, they place it in escrow. And that's why they tell you at closing that the homeowner has already received their funds, the temporary credit. You need to sign the promissory note, which they take that promissory note and they give it to the Federal Reserve Board of Governors through the Federal Reserve agent who gives them, pay attention, their monies in Federal Reserve notes. You are not supposed to receive Federal Reserve notes. You are only supposed to receive the property. You can't receive the Federal Reserve notes and the property. So many people have gotten this backwards. And I dare anybody to contradict anything that I've shown you on this video today. Go ahead, try. Because unlike everybody else who opened wah, 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 and closed their ignorant mouths, I'm showing you, I am taking, I'll take you there to the actual act, not just the Federal Reserve Act that I just showed you. Oh Lord, have mercy. No, we go to the actual Congress saying exactly what I just said. So they make advances to individuals. Well, that says they make advances to individuals. That doesn't say they make advances to Federal Reserve banks. Oh, y'all didn't pay attention? See, that, that's what's wrong with most of y'all people. Federal Reserve notes are issued at the discretion of the Federal Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System for the purpose of making advances. Hold on. For the purpose of making advances to Federal Reserve banks through the Federal Reserve agents as here and after set forth and for no other purpose are they authorized. Hold on now. Pay attention to prove that you're a Federal Reserve Bank. They make advances to individuals. But this is a purpose that's been authorized. You are an individual. You are a Federal Reserve Bank as defined in statute at large. This is Congress who wrote this. On your promissory notes of such individuals for 90 days. That's what we just covered. I hope you got it. I hope you're understanding that you are an individual bank. You can refer to yourself as an individual membered bank or a banking institution, but either way, you are an individual. And you can apply for advances under Section 13 of the Federal Reserve Act. Now, let me show you before we cancel this video, because we got 20 seconds to go. I messed up. We gonna, we gonna get it in 20 seconds. All right. Come on now, because I'm cutting it off. 
Section 13, Federal Reserve Act, page 50. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for letting me bring this information to you in less than 40 minutes. I know it was a little bit lengthy, but hey, what can we say?